Welcome to the Highland Center for the Arts. I'm Keisha Luce, the Executive Director here, and welcome to a virtual tour. We also invite you to come visit us in person this winter as we embrace the cold weather. Um, we have a lot of activities, including a 1.8 mile ski trail that you can snowshoe, ski, or walk. It features work um, of 11 Vermont artists, 17 in total, including Peter Schumann, who really um, sort of helped us launch this idea in the first place. Um, it came about as a, as a response to COVID and trying to figure out like how we can embrace our community and include the arts in their daily life. And um, I happened to run into Alexis Smith, the curator for Peter Schumann and his work, and sort of tossed the idea out and it was so enthusiastic and they signed on board right away. And of course, Peter's work is so iconic and beautiful and bright and you know, political and of the moment that as soon as we secured that, we knew that we had a, a project. On the weekends, we have a fireside lunch opportunity. Our cafe is open um, in the afternoons so people can have a nice grilled cheese sandwich and a hot cocoa and sit by our warming fires and enjoy the beautiful Greensboro landscape. Um, we have some great inside up opportunities too. We're just about, as you can see behind me, to hang a beautiful um, painting by Brent McCoy, a Greensboro artist. So there's a lot to do, even though we're in the dead of winter. So where we will take part of the trail and wash it in beautiful light so you can meander the grounds and be surrounded by all kinds of colors and We'll be having some sleigh rides and some upcoming fun events, including a local snow sculptor who will be creating a one-of-a-kind piece on the Highland Center for the Arts lawn, uh, and some opportunities to build snow shelters and join him also in the building of um, snow sculptures. So there is a lot to do this winter, and we're just really embracing it, and we hope you'll join us and have some fun this winter. Jerome Lapani and I are here today to show you a virtual tour of Peter Schumann's giant woodcut banners, Insurrection Resurrection Services. This series was on exhibition at Bread and Puppet Theater in the Pine Forest on the way down to the Memorial Village. And um, now we have carved grottos in this beautiful forest to edge of pines. And hung this exhibit which will move along the snowshoe and ski trail as part of a contribution to their art tour and their outdoor art exhibition. This show is one of three shows here at the Highland Center for the Arts. Later we'll be going through Lamentation Road, a series of nine beautiful giant cast cement and painted pieces of sculpture by Peter Schumann and then part of the new handout series on the side of the highland. So as we trek along this snowy trail, we'll be listening to audio footage created in Peter's studio as he performed his early summer creation of the fiddle lecture, fiddle sermon, which became a fiddle rant. <laughs> Civilization is busy redefining its essentials. We Non-essentialists must deliver the missing insurrection and resurrection services that the moment requires.
one. The call for insurrection against the criminally incompetent government responsible for the enormous pain and despair caused by the thousands of unnecessary deaths. Resurrection for the incomplete lives of the victims of that incompetence. Lamentations for the unfuneralized many which must fill the air that we, the living, breathe. The spirits of the deceased must be implored to assist us in our continuation, which can't be the old normality. but must be the reinvention and reconstruction of that normality based on the recognition of its failings. Thank you. 
and okay got it we would like to dedicate this film to Rémy Pilar who just passed he was in Paris France with his wife Geneviève long long time uh, bread and puppet theater company members Rémy was one of my personal inspirations for working and curating Peter Schumann's new works over the last three years and moving his works to outside exhibition sites and he always had beautiful outdoor pieces hanging on Remy's wall at Bread and Puppet and uh, we're just sad for his loss. Peter created these pieces all during this um, COVID period of time and we're glad to have you out here on the trail to check it all out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Tschüss.